headed to Arizona to hunt some meteorites. Hopefully we get lucky. There's some people here on the road taking the picture of the old 66. But there's old Roy's Cafe. Okay, we made it as far as we can go. Road ends here. So now, we just gotta get all that junk on us. And of course, I forgot my other tripod. I bought two of them, a little baby one, and a one that, you know, stood up about five feet. I forgot the tall one. But, mile and a half, two mile hike in there. Let's get suited up. All right, here we go. We're all suited up, ready to go. Got the detector. Um, we gotta go about a mile and a half that way, maybe two miles. So, got a good little hike. But the scenery is beautiful. And it's 71 degrees out here, which is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I've hunted out here 110, 115. When we first started hunting out here, me and my buddy would come out here. You know, we're so excited to find our first meteorite. And middle of summer, of course, I think it was August. And uh, we strapped on our head, headlamps on our head, and we came out and hunted at night. Um, it was just too dang hot during the day, so we'd had to hunt out here all, at night with our headlamps on. Kind of hard because, you know, you can only see so far, you don't know what kind of terrain you're getting into, but uh, funny thing is, we were out there and uh, I kept seeing this flash of eyes looking at me. Of course, you start getting freaked out, you know. I called my buddy on the radio. He's not too far away. You can see his headlamp. And, well, dude, I'm seeing eyes over here. He goes, you know what? So am I over here. I'm like, oh crap, man. So we ended up being really still and uh, took our flashlights out because they were a lot brighter than our headlamps. And shine them on them. A little kid fox. Just a little guy. And he had one too. And that first night out here, those kid foxes followed us around for about two hours. You know, they stayed 25 yards away. But, you know, because you're always looking down, swinging down. And uh, you'd look up and your headlights would catch their eyes and yeah, it was kind of neat to see that. You know when you're walking out here in the middle of nowhere, you find some cool rocks. Now, this stuff right here, there's a name for it. Ah, I forget. I think it's, uh, I don't know. I'd say the wrong thing for sure. Chalcedony or, it's like a really, cool looking quartz. These are kind of cool. And then you see these little guys. Little quartz. Like little ice cubes sitting there. The more you go around, like there's a bigger one right there. Pretty cool. I don't know if you can see it glistening or not. Might even be considered some kind of little geode, maybe. Anyhow, not the rocks we're looking for. We're looking for the ones from outer space. So we got to get going over there. So this is where you need to hunt for them. And it's hard to hunt by eye in this because there's just so many rocks. And if there's a big enough one sitting up, you'd, you'd, you'd see it. But big ones are pretty much been had because they're the easiest ones to find so we just keep looking hot rock put it down by the headphones
Okay, so what I normally do, I wasn't filming all this, so I just throw my magnet down there real quick. There is uh, iron meteorites out here. Um, there's anchondrites. Really, there's a fly on me. I'm in the middle of nowhere. But I'll try to pinpoint it. Not seeing anything by eyeball. Let's try our magnet. Well, nothing jumping up. Let's take a scrape out of here. See if we get any. I'm picking up the camera, hold on. It's a good signal. And nothing. Hmm. All right. Time to start messing around. Let's find out what this is. Let's get all this stuff out of the way. Oh, that should be hot ground. Switching hands. Okay, whatever it is, I think I have it in my hand. So, somewhere in my hand. Camera's too close. I got my ring on still. Man, I'm sorry guys. Still in my hand. Little iron. Why did my magnet get that? Yeah, little iron. Okay, well, we got a meteorite. It's uh, the little irons, they call them. Uh, Sacramento Wash, I think they're called. A decent little iron. Heavy, extremely magnetic. All right, well. It's not a condorite, but it's it's nickel iron, nonetheless. It's from outer space. It's a little guy. Most of the irons are out here, though. Real little. Cool. Even though you're in the middle of nowhere, cover your hole. Ain't much of a hole, but when it rains, can't even tell you we're there. Okay, on the board. Not even 50 yards from where I just found that little iron, I got a chondrite. So we are on the board, baby. We got a meteorite from outer space. How cool is that? It's right on the surface. I ran over the detector. It's not buried. I'm going to take you right to it. So just swinging like this. Gosh, should I lose it? It's in there pretty good.
<laughs> I already lost it. You gotta be kidding me. I got so excited. It's right in here somewhere. I didn't want to walk on it. It had some bushes on it. Gosh, there it is. There it is. Okay, I see it now. Okay. I was looking over there, and it's right there. I don't know if you can see it. So cool. I'm going to take the headphones off. Disconnect. But yeah, it's right there. Right there. Do you see it? Right there she is. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> yeah. Meteorite. We are on the board. We got a condorite H5, and we got a little iron. That is so cool, man. Look at that. Just sitting there, coming off of this hill. Didn't really get buried. Right up there for us to find. That thing, who knows how long that's been sitting there for us to find. Let's go ahead and get it out of there. I'm yeah, blocking the sun here. Look at that. How cool is that? We found a meteorite. A rock from outer space. Look at that. Hope this is focusing good on it. Let's pluck it. Oh yeah. Look at that. How nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, so cool. So cool, yes. Yes. Oh. And just to show you, uh, where's my pick with my magnet? They're H5 because they got a lot of nickel iron in them. Watch this. Yeah, blocking the sun. Okay, I'm blocking the sun again. Hanging on. That is so neat. Oh, cool. Yeah, let's see. They're magnetic. Oh, it's so neat. Well, I'm so happy we got one. Usually, three or four hours, you can get on the board when you're in the shroom field. I'm still out of it away, so this, you know, this little guy came flying off to the right when it came in. But that is so neat. Look at that. Bam. Awesome. And I just found the other one not even five minutes ago. So we're on the board. We didn't get skunked, so no matter what, this is an awesome trip. I'm going to keep hunting. There's got to be more. Maybe some bigger ones. Sorry. Right in here. I got a signal. I'm not seeing a meteorite off the bat, so it could be another iron. I don't know. I'm putting the headphones up to the... I don't know if you can hear it. Good signal. Okay, so it's right there. Let's take a look. I don't see a meteorite. Unless it's this. That's not a meteorite. Oh. So, it's either going to be iron piece of lead don't sound like a piece of wire there's little pieces of wire out here could be a 30 cal definitely doesn't sound big enough to be a 50 cal let's stick the magnet in there and try to find this thing quick
Look at that, it's a meteorite. <laughs> How cool is that? It's buried. Right there. I don't know if I'm getting this on camera. Let me get behind it. Right there, another little meteorite. It's baby little brother. Bam. All right. Yeah, there she is, number two. <laughs> Gotta love it. Uh, definitely need to get a better camera. Well, I'm using my phone. I'm using an iPhone 7, but I might invest in a camera. How cool is that? Little meteorite. Same area. Looks like I'm going to be sticking out here for a while. Yeah. Very nice. Well, I'm going to sit down and take a lunch. Um, in this little bit of shade I got from this Ocotillo out here. Pretty cool. So yeah, um, so far just those three. But I'm going uh, to eat, eat a little bit of the lunch, get back at it. Let me show you what I use. Um, I got a 3000. Mine lamp 3000 with the uh, pocket rocket. Uh, Black Widow headphones work pretty good. I like the Joey coil. That little coil has been awesome. Um, I bought this thing when they first came out, brand new. And I just haven't seen a reason to upgrade. It's proven itself. I'm confident with it. I'm really confident with that little coil. Gets around all these big rocks, you know, really good. Finds gold, small gold, really good. I've got a bunch of other different coils, but that's my go-to searching coil. Doesn't cover a lot of ground, but it'll weave in and out of all this stuff. Okay, again, you get close to it. Gosh, I almost fell into it. <laughs> I'm six foot, so what is that? Seven? Seven foot tall? That thing's gigantic. Definitely taller than me. So neat. Well, that's about all the swinging I can do for today. Made it back to the truck. There's the haul for the day. Three of them. Boom, boom, boom. Found those, I should have turned around and walked away. It's been another, what, four hours looking? Didn't find nothing. But that's how it goes. Pretty cool. Cool looking quartz. It's like melted looking quartz. Pretty neat. That might be a geode. Cut it when I get home. And that's a meteor wrong. Boy, I thought I had something. Looked really good. But it's not. Anyways. Something different.